بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ رب زدنی علما صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمد للہ رب العالمین In this lecture, I will discuss the solutions of S1 variant 5-2 of November 2020. And for this, I am using the work of an outstanding and one of my best student, Ms. Ramsha of class 2022, the Lyceum. All these instructions are very important, especially this last one. Give non-exact numerical answers correct to three significant figures. Must follow all these instructions. An important advice, be of benefit to others. Two important tips to solve the paper in a good way. Number one, avoid careless mistakes. Number two, read questions carefully. Question number one, a fair six-sided die with faces mark one to six is thrown repeatedly until a four is obtained. This word until means this situation is of geometric distribution. And since the die is fair, so the probability of number four is one upon six. Part A. Find the probability that obtaining a 4 requires fewer than 6 throws. Since this model is of geometric distribution, therefore this is the formula of this probability. x less than 6 is 1 minus q to the power 5. Since p is 1 upon 6, therefore q must be 5 upon 6. This is the exact answer in fraction and this is the estimated answer up to 3 significant figures. On another occasion, the die is thrown 10 times. So, since we have fixed number of tries, therefore this situation is now of binomial distribution with, with n 10 and p 1 upon 6. Part B. Find the probability that a 4 is obtained at least 3 times. You all know we find this probability in binomial in this way. At least 3 means 1 minus 0, 1, 2. Since 3 is inclusive here, so it must be exclusive here. This is q to the power 10 for this number. And 1 means 10c1, p to the power 1 and q to the power 9 and so on. And this is the answer up to 3 significant figures. Question number 2. A bag contains 5 red balls and 3 blue balls. So we have all together 8 balls. Sadi takes 3 balls at random. This is the requirement. 3 balls from the bag without replacement. Without replacement means we can use combination method in this question. The random variable x, this is very important. This represents the number of red balls that she takes. So x means number of red balls and there are all together 8 balls and the requirement is 3 balls at random without replacement at random and without replacement means we can use combination method part a show that the probability that Sadi takes exactly one red ball is this this is so simple since we need all together 3 balls therefore for one red ball you should write 5 c1 and for two remaining balls you should write 3c2 and since you are working for probability so you need to divide this result by total which is 8c3 this is here this is one red ball from five red balls and this is two red uh, two blue balls from remaining from three given uh, blue balls and 8c3 means total this is the answer uh, this is what we had to show in fact Draw up the table uh, for x and x means number of red balls. Whenever you draw a table, you need to work out for the minimum and maximum values of x. See, the requirement is 3 balls and x means red balls. So we can have no red ball and we can have all 3 red balls. So 0, 1, 2 or 3. When we, ha when we don't have any red ball, that means 5c0. So all three blue balls, 3c3 divided by 8c3. When we have all three red balls, that means 5c3, no blue ball and 8c3. And two red ball means 5c2, 
वन ब्लू बॉल एट सी थ्री सिंस द टोटल इज वन बिकॉज टोटल प्रॉबलिटी इज ऑलवेज वन देयर फॉर यू कैन गेट दिस नंबर बाई सब्ट्रैक्टिंग दीज थ्री नंबर फ्राम वन और यू कैन वर्क आउट द प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ दिस नंबर इन दिस वे फाइव सी वन थ्री सी टू और डिवाइड बाई एट सी थ्री एंड दिस नंबर इज इन फैक्ट हेयर सो यू हैव मैनी ऑप्शन टू गेट द प्रॉबलिटी ऑफ दिस नंबर नेक्स्ट पॉइंट गिवन दैट मीन इज फिफ्टीन अपॉन एट फाइंड द वेरियंस वेरियंस इज वेरी सिंपल फॉर वेरियंस वी फर्स्ट फाइंड दिस थिंग we first square 0 and then we multiply 0 square with this then 1 square times this then 2 square times this then 3 square times this and then we take their sum so 0 square times 1 upon 56 you can check this here 0 square times 1 upon 56 1 square times 15 upon 56 2 square times this probability and 3 square times this probability and take the sum of the results any square of mean this is the way to find the variance this is the exact answer in fractional form and this is the estimated answer up to three significant figures question number 3 pia runs 2 km every day and her times in minutes are normally distributed with mean this 10.1 and standard deviation 1.3 part a find the probability that on a randomly chosen day she takes longer than 11.3 minutes to run 2 km so longer than 11.3 minutes so first you need to convert this statement from x into z with the help of this formula x minus mu over sigma this is here now according to this situation you need to shade this area and you need this probability since this area is small so it should be 1 minus 5 this number which is here you can either find this number in table or calculate uh, or, or find this number in calculator you have both the options either use table or calculator this is the final answer up to three significant figures part b on 75% of days pr takes longer than t minutes to run 2 km find the value of t this is the inverse normal uh, question longer than t probability is 0.75 you need to shade this probability probability means area you need to shade this area with respect to this sign of inequality to know the position of this unknown so you need to shade this probability in this way from upper tail towards the lower tail whenever we have greater sign we shade this area in this way it's here and your number is negative this is the negative number this is negative in fact so when you will work out uh, the corresponding z value of this probability you will get minus 0.67448 since you are left side of this central line so the corresponding z value for this probability is this now you need to solve this equation for t this is the answer up to three significant figures the next part of this question on how many days in a period of 90 days would you expect for this you need to use this formula expect means n times probability of requirement and n is 90 pr to take between 8.9 and 11.3 minutes so you need to first get this probability and then you need to multiply your answer by 90 so when you will convert this statement into z you will get this thing for positive number we write 5 for negative we write 1 minus 5 you can either use calculator or table to get the values of these five this is the probability you need to multiply this probability by this 90 to get the estimated number of days and so there are 58 days don't write 58.0 just write 58 question number 4 in a certain country the weather each day is classified as fine or rainy 
so there are two ways two options the probability that a fine day is followed by a fine day is 0.75 so fine day is followed by a fine day is 0.75 it's here and the probability that a rainy day is followed by a fine day is 0.4 the probability that it is fine on April 1st is 0.8. So this should be 0.2. The tree diagram below shows the possibilities for the weather on 1st April and 2nd April. We will need uh, this part of the tree diagram in the last part, uh, in part C and part D. So first you need to complete this tree diagram. Part B, find the probability that 2nd April is fine. So this is simple, fine or fine. So you need to add these ways these options this or this so the result of this option is here and the result of this option is here that's the final answer the next part let x be the event that first april is fine and y be the event that third april is rainy so you need to make this tree diagram these branches for third april this is so simple fine day followed by a fine day 0.75 rainy day followed by a fine day is 0.4 complete this uh, tree diagram and then you can easily do part c x be the event that first april is fine that means this thing and y be the event that third april is rainy so fine and rainy so you have these two options fine fine rainy fine rainy rainy you just need to add these two options this is here you can see this in this way this result and this result that's the answer 27 upon 100 or 0 0.27 now the next part part d find the probability that first april is fine given that third april is rainy so this option should be in numerator because this is the requirement and 3rd april is rainy so we have four options one two three four you need to take out the results of these four options and then write the results here because this is the conditional probability c this option is here this option is here and some of these two is here that's the final answer question number five the following table gives the weekly snowfall in centimeters for 11 weeks in 2018 at two sky resorts D and L. So these results are here. Part A represent the information in a back to back stem and leaf diagram. This is so simple. L is here, D is here. The smallest observation is 0 and the largest is 42. So you need to start from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And for D, C. 6 you need to write 6 here then 8 here and then so on and you can write the key uh, by taking any two numbers so if you are taking these numbers then you need to write 2 slash 3 slash 6 and you need to explain this so 32 2 slash 3 means 32 you read in this way 32 centimeter snowfall in l and 36 centimeter snowfall in d Part B, find the median and the IQR for the weekly snowfall in Ds. Since we have 11 number of observations, so median will be 6 position. The formula of median is here. N plus 1 upon 2th observation. So, 6 position means 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is median, 15. And the formula for Q1 for odd number of observation is 1 upon 4 n plus 1 observation 
n is 11 so 11 plus 1 makes 12 12 divided by 4 makes 3 so third observation and the third observation is this so 10 And this is the way to get the Q value of Q3. And IQR is 18. Part C. The median, the lower quartile and upper quartile for the weekly snowfall for L are 12, 9 and 32. This is median. This is Q1 and this is Q3. So IQR will be 32 minus 9 which is 23. Use this information and your, uh, your answers to part B these answers to compare the central tendency that means median and the spread that means iqr of the weekly snowfall in d and l so this is so simple first you need to compare their medians median is for d is 15 and for l is 12. so on average see median of d is greater than median of l so on average you must write on average because you are comparing their medians there is higher snowfall in D than in L. Now you need to compare their IQRs. So IQR of D is 18 and IQR of L is 23. So more variation in L than in D. So you need to write in this way. There is more variation of a snowfall in L than in D. Next question, number six. Mr. and Mrs. Ahmed with their two children and Mr. and Mrs. Baker with their three children are visiting an activity center together. They will divide into groups for some of the activities. Part A. In how many ways can the nine people be divided into group of six and a group of three? So you must follow this order. First, you need to divide nine people in the group of into a group of six and then into a group of three. So 9C6 and then 3C3. This is here. So there are 84 ways. Five of the nine people are selected at random for a particular activity. Part B. Find the probability that this group of five people contains all three of the Baker children. So simple. There are three children of Baker. So 3C3. You need five people. So remaining two from 6. You need to select 2 people from remaining 6 because you need all together 5. So you need to write 3C3 then 6C2 and divided by 9C5 because you are working for probability. That's the answer. Part C. All 9 people stand in a line. Find the number of different arrangements in which Mr. Ahmed is not standing next to Mr. Baker. Simple. Uh, it's total minus together. First, you need to uh, arrange these two people together. So, Mr. Ahmed and Mr. Baker are together. So, there are two factorial ways for them to arrange them uh, for them to arrange themselves. And seven other people. So, seven means eight factorial because this is one object and these are seven objects. So, eight objects. So, these are the total number of ways in which and Mr. Ahmed stand Mr. Uh, Baker together next to Mr. Baker. Nine factorial means total. Total minus together will give you the requirement not together. Next part. D. Find the number of different arrangements in which there is exactly one person between Mr. Ahmed and Mr. Baker. C. Mr. Ahmed is here. And Mr. Baker is here. And one person means anyone can come here from remaining 7. So 7P1 seven for this person. And Mr. Ahmed and Mr. Baker can uh, switch their places. So 2 factorial for them. And there are 7 ways for this group to stand. This is just one way. This is the second way. Third way. Fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh ways. This group can stand in seven different ways. So 7P1. And six remaining people can arrange themselves at, at random. So one, two, three, four, five, six positions and six people. So six factorial. You just need to multiply this result by six factorial in order to arrange all nine people with this restriction. These are the number of ways. Yeah. 
you, this part is very important you can take this screenshot of this solution if you want well this is all an important advice be polite all the best and i am extremely thankful to miss uh, ramsha who helped me to make this lecture indeed she is an outstanding student may allah pak bless her always ameen may allah pak give her the best grades ameen allah hafiz